Hello, my name is Diego Lizarazo from the OpenShift Online team and in this video we're going to use OpenShift to host your Construct 2 video game. So this game basically assumes that you already check some of the uh, videos that I created on how to create your first video game. I have several of those but I created two in particular for this series and also that you have installed uh, all the tools in your Windows machine to work with OpenShift. Uh, if you haven't done those things, I recommend you to check the links that I'm going to put on, uh, on the description of the video. And uh, please uh, follow those steps that I'm mentioning there. Now, let's host our game. We're going to go to OpenShift.com to start this process. Uh, quite likely, if you follow the previous video, you already have an account. If not, this is the moment to sign up for free for your OpenShift Online account. And after that, well, you're going to be logged in, and if not, just go here to OpenShift Web Console. We'll sign in. And we're going to be logged into the dashboard that we see here. And we're going to be able to see the applications that we have already created. So here you see that I have already two games that I have hosted in, in OpenShift and at some point I'm going to create a couple of videos just to show you what I did but uh, at the moment let's just create a new one now since we used uh, Construct 2 to uh, create our first game and if you go and check the, the tutorials and check a little bit the documentation that you have with Construct 2 uh, let's say features I think well you can see it over here uh, these games are going to be HTML5 and JavaScript so the first thing that uh, you're going to notice when you are in OpenShift Online is that you have several instant apps several templates that you can just use to start well creating your app really easy and the first thing that came to mind the first experiment that I did to, to do this was uh, we need something with JavaScript so I say like okay mean JavaScript that's something that could work I also look for Node.js really those uh, were much more complicated than what I expected for this example and um, afterwards I figure out that the best way to do so was to just go for a PHP template so in this case I am just going to pick the latest one PHP four then obviously it's going to ask you for a name for your project you see that the URL that is going to be picked is going to include the uh, domain that you picked for all your projects so this is something that you can change in any given time but uh, you're always going to have rhcloud.com so Red Hat Cloud and whatever name you are going to have here so let's say that this one is uh, I'm going to get, just call it Falcon since that's one of the assets that we use for our uh, Construct 2 game so if you were not using the template if you were just going to uh, bring code from a git repository you also could do you could also pick something here but in this case we are not going to do that uh, we're going to just use everything that we have on our uh, machine. So that's it. So no scaling. Yeah, let's just create. Uh, obviously, depending on your location, you could just pick one <clears throat> or uh, just say that you don't have any preference. So let's create the application. This could uh, take a couple of minutes uh, while everything is set up running and I am going to jump just to that part after a couple of minutes we're going to get a page like this that is basically telling us that the entire project was created and also is going to give us this information these instructions on how to use Git to work with our project so one of the first things that we will have to do is to clone our project that is going to create a folder in our computer that we'll have all the code and we're going to modify that to uh, well put our own game and then we're going to 
also have the git instructions that you are going to need to commit and push your changes so if you are familiar with git this is not going to be really much of a surprise for you but uh, let's try to work with this and see how how that goes so let's copy this and we're going to use the common prompt here on Windows I'm going to paste and then we're going to try to clone uh, the folder that we are going to need here so it's going to ask me do you want to continue to connect say yes and it's telling me that is done and right after that it's telling me like hey you just have to say CD Falcon I'm going to copy it basically just like that and we see that we have some directories and that we have an index uh, PHP this is basically <coughs> what we're going to modify to get our game there and now we have to actually export our game so let's do that for our next step we have to open our construct2 project the one that uh, we work in some of the previous videos that you have in my account and uh, we're going to export this project and create an HTML5 JavaScript game if you were not using Construct2 if you were using something like Unity, Unreal, uh, Game Maker, uh, Cocos 2DJS and well almost any other JavaScript or modern gaming platform you're going to have similar steps Quite likely I'm going to create a few videos covering some of these other engines and you're going to see that most of the steps are exactly the same so I am not going to repeat uh, some of the videos like how to install your uh, how to install all the tools in your Windows machine but this part in particular is going to be useful for anyone that is just creating new games and is using Construct2 so if you don't remember this basically with Construct2 we create a small game that we have to tap on different enemies to try to protect our Centennial Eagle or Centennial Falcon in this case obviously this is for educational purposes that's why I am uh, using this small game so nothing really complicated and that's pretty much it so this is what we are able to test on our computer using a browser but now we really want to export this so the option is simply just go here to file export project and then you pick the option for HTML5 website you see that there are many other ones but this is the one that we need so let's say next uh, let's create a new folder here that we're going to call Falcon export or whatever you want at this moment say next uh, normal style this is in case that you want to add some sort of like advertisement in your game but uh, since we're just creating our first game just go for export it's going to take perhaps one two minutes uh, this case is telling me that I don't have set up uh, Java correctly to do the minify of the JavaScript and uh, well that's fine in this particular case is just more an example so let's open the destination folder and this is what we're going to have and you see that everything starts with an index HTML right so this is where your game uh, is going to start this particular case if you try to open this uh, in a normal browser it's not really going to run quite likely your operating system is going to stop it from running in like a local network for security reasons but you still can use the preview that you have with Construct2 that is over here and you have this kind of like the same result now we're going to have basically two different folders the export that we just did with Construct2 or let's suppose that you did something similar with a, a Unity Unity 3D and also you're going to have the folder that we just created that should be called Falcon so we have it here 
So this is where the entire trick goes, and you're going to see that it's incredibly, incredibly simple. Uh, a little bit of a hack, but it works perfectly. So we're just going to copy all the files that we have here in the folder that we need, that we created for OpenShift, right? Now we have a little bit of a problem, this is where the hack comes, I guess that you could set it up manually, but uh, I'm assuming that you have no previous experience with OpenShift, and uh, this is going to be great, because the only thing that we will have to do is to make certain that the code that is in our index, that is index.html, is in our index.php, that is the one that the project is really looking for. So let's open this, let's say with, well, So open with Atom. You could use basically Notepad if you want. You just need some sort of editor where you can modify the code. So that's the first one, and let's open the next one also with Atom. So we're just going to do a dirty copy paste from one to the other. So we have the HTML here. We're going to Control C, Control A over here, Control V, and then we have all the code that we needed from our construct to game here. So let's save it. Make certain that that's the case. And that's pretty much it. Now, everything that we had in this file now is copied here on our index.php. But obviously all the changes that we just did are not uh, set in our OpenShift Online account. Right now, if we visit that, it's not really going to show us our game. So what do we have to do? So right now, here you have basically the next steps that you that you need to do. So we already did this. We already enter our folder. Now we just do this. Obviously, we still need the prompt, and we still have to be in the folder that we are going to modify. But if we're right here, we just can do paste, we're going to add every change, then I am just going to do a commit, so look, I'm just copy pasting, I'm not even like doing anything uh, incredibly original, you can uh, name or put any comments that you want here to this commit that we're going to do with git, in this case, well, let's, let's make it a little bit more interesting, so, I don't know, uh, my construct to game okay um, and of course I think uh, I think in the other quotes yep okay that worked you see sometimes copy pasting is not great <laughs> and the last thing that we're need going to need is not we just did the comment now we need to push all these changes and uh, paste and then everything for your little application should automatically get ready and you see it's remote waiting for it to stop finish it's going to take one two minutes at most it's done so that should be pretty much it and now uh, well, I don't have it here, but I'm going to just open in a new tab. So we're going to see the overview of our application. This is something that could have done at any given time. And really what I want is the URL to check my uh, application. So this is the name that you gave uh, in a couple of steps away. Uh, and let's say that I'm going to open it. Let's see how that works. And now we have our little game running on OpenShift. And of course, well, I mean, it's here. Um, if you're running this in a uh, touch screen enabled device, you're going to literally touch the screen instead of just clicking, like how I'm doing right now. And you should be able to play your little game and share it with everyone else. So what do you do? if you're going to make more changes on uh, your project. 
so you go back to Construct 2 or again some other engines and then you're going to modify let's say the assets or you're going to change I don't know the game over you don't want it to be red anymore you just want it to be uh, blue or whatever afterwards you just export your game you're going to end up with a folder similar to what we had here so you end up adding images you could try to modify the code manually but in the case of construct 2 I don't recommend it and afterwards you just like overwrite what you have in your OpenShift project that is um, set up with git everything is already ready and you only have to repeat the last three the last three uh, steps that, that we did that is the git add commit and push and with that you should be able to uh, get your game running on OpenShift that we see it here in this particular case my Falcon project so I am going to leave this project there you can check it, it is quite simple uh, perhaps I am going to modify uh, a few things I am going to start adding uh, I don't know like a splash screen like menu or a couple more things but uh, at the moment uh, since the project was created to help the people that are going to work in the global game jam this weekend uh, I think this is pretty much it this is something that you can do in let's say half an hour and now you have a space where you can share your game with anyone around the world uh, regardless if it's on the game jam or not and afterwards you can start sharing with this with uh, well your family and friends at this point you should be able to create different video games uh, at least with construct 2 and to host them using openshift we would love to hear some feedback from you and see if you created any cool projects during this weekend. Let us know and game on.